Hi, today we'll discuss some uh, options in MS Word. So we'll go through, uh, <coughs> we'll uh, discuss about uh, borders and shading. Now, considering a border, like uh, if you put a border, it will give you a good professional look for your document. So let's start with the page border. So as we discuss uh, in uh, MS Word options, so we have discussed about home, insert, tab, and the borders and shading is under page layout. So uh, if I am uh, going through the page border, you can get this option over here, page border. Now when it come to a page border, you have uh, different settings. For example, the first option is none, which is no border. So you can have a box border, shadow border, 3D border, and you can customize your border uh, based on your requirement. So we'll we'll uh, so obviously with none border, you, we don't have anything to discuss. But we'll start with box type border. Now, if you select box type border, uh, there are different styles that you can incorporate with box. For example, uh, uh, with the line style, like for example, uh, thin line or dotted line, a different kind of dotted line. So, double line, likewise you have uh, different, several different lines. So, I will first uh, select the very basic style, which is just a line. And you can see the line width. And when I press OK, you can see that the border is appearing in your document. So, if, you, if I zoom it a bit less you can see my page border is appearing uh, in my page so we can change the border to a dotted line or some other given style now this border has some shading after the border so also we can change the border width you can increase and you can decrease and even you press ok you can see that effect around your page uh, so that's different styles of borders so I will just select few other styles which you can see in your document so that's about uh, box type borders and you can have shadow borders where you have the shadow of the border from uh, you know next to the border so that's shadow type border and then uh, 3d borders so same styles appearing so you can select different styles and 3d and when you press ok you can see that 3d effect around your border so likewise you can custom your border with the different border now for example you can uh, you can also select art different art types so they are there are some pre given art styles where you can select the art and when you press ok you can see that art appearing around your document so for example for let's say for kids or some other sort of fancy things you can use this kind of borders so you can also apply to a section of the document or the to the whole document so simply you can customize and also you can uh, now for example let's say I want to change the color of my border so I can select let's say red border so you can see a red line border around my document 
so that's basically about uh, borders but if you play around with this you can uh, get more uh, idea on that and also you can uh, for example uh, delete a part of a border for example let's say you want the border only for uh, like let's say you want to uh, get uh, I mean you don't want the border to top off your page so you can simply uh, select this where you can see the preview that the uh, top border is uh, eliminated over here and also same, same with side borders and bottom borders so mainly we discuss about a page border uh, <clears throat> now so if you select none you can get the original document uh, let's say I want to have a border only for a particular area so in this case you have to select borders not page border only the book borders and then let's say box border and you want to have a blue border around this text. so you can see a border around my text and uh, actually I think the color it's more into dark blue so you can't see the border but if uh, so when you play around with this you have to select the area select the border color and you can apply to your area so this is a page border again so the box border for my given text area so we have discussed borders and page borders now uh, also we will complete the shading area where you get the shading around your uh, text now it's more straightforward so let's say practicing shading so you want to have a shade around this area so simply go to the borders and shading area and select shading and let's say you want to have a solid border and you want to select a color fill pattern so the yellow shading around your text area so simply that's a very basic uh, overview of borders and shading but when you play around with this you will be more thorough on using this thanks for listening